is up you beautiful people and welcome back to surviving mars uh so last time i played surviving mars uh it was on feature friday and so it's actually been some time but uh we're having we're back here on space y uh the company space y here and uh, we're trying to sell mars here so some of the things that we're trying to get done here is uh establish some more um water production uh in order for us to be able to host a colony here so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to simply place a um another water vaporator here i mean water extractor on the same water extraction site um oh actually wow, that's a lot of water so i guess i'm just gonna put two of these here i need to i need to probably build some vaporators soon tm uh and i need to make sure i have enough power in my power grid as well so i think i have all my drones here they're just harvesting a bunch of different things um there's some underground metals which i can't really harvest yet i don't think at least um let's see power infrastructure production can i harvest that stuff I can't I can't actually build a metals extractor. Oh no, I need I need a dome. Yes, I can't I can't do that yet. Uh so there we go. Um so I think I need to get some storage here. Mm, can I get some water storage though? That's the one thing. Um machine parts. That's just the water tower, right? Stores water doesn't work during cold waves. Okay. I can probably slap this down over here. So I'm gonna have a different water tower. Because this water tower is going towards my fuel refinery. I kinda just wanna have a water tower that is dedicated just for storing water for people because right now my water for people like i'm producing water and i'm storing like a little bit of it here and i also have another i have some vaporators here that are also producing water but barely anything and then it's getting uh, pumped into this field section here i have a lot of drones that are just chilling out here hmm. Uh, hmm. and then also i think i need i'm gonna be in need of power um in certain places here like this place is full so i don't need power here um, this place is discharging stored power, production, total, also this place needs more power. Uh, okay, so we have an anomaly analyzed. Ooh, another anomaly analyzed. Okay, so I'm probably gonna build another wind turbine, um, over here, I think. Then we'll go put that down. Can I put it down over here? Is that gonna be, uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Can I cancel that? Or, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh -oh. Delete, cancel construction. There we go. I just want to make sure it's um, properly placed here. There we go. And then that should be good. So let's have a look at our anomalies here. Ooh. On-site data validates our predicted models of electrically charged dust devils. Science is well aware of the causes of the massive earth storms. Oh, now we can refine to us. So we gained some research points. That's a lot of research points. 3,000? I mean, wait, we gained 2,000. Wait, but how did we only gain so little? Okay, well, I'm gonna go look at my research tech here. Low G fungi farm. Um, let's see, what is this getting here? Advanced Martian engines, rockets and shuttles require less fuel, drone swarms, robotics. Drone hubs are constructed with, addition, with two, additional two drones, and the maximum number of drones is increased to 80. Well, that looks pretty good. Um, non medical service bots. Oh, Silva Tech is part of a mod that I've downloaded here. Let's see, autonomous sensors, towers, no more power or maintenance. That sounds really good. Social. More applicants will start to appear on Earth. PR research aimed at exposing the benefits of the aspects of life as a colonist on Mars. Don't think I need that yet. Giant crops. Unlocks giant crops which have an increased output. Don't need that yet either. So I think I can go for... I mean, eventually I do want people to come and settle though. Let's just go for drone storm here. Uh, can I outsource something? Are you sure you want to outsource research to Earth? Outsource... 1,000 research, research. Oh, so I can I can pay Earth for money. Uh, I can get research points. Interesting. Um, let's hit a no for now because I can just buy. Let's see what this other anomaly here is. Oh, interesting. So what is this? Reduces the cost of robotics tech by 10%. Oh, okay. We got cheaper robotics tech by 10%. That's good. Uh, let's have a look at the map over here. This area is still being scanned here. We have a lot of different things that I need to have a look at. Um, oh, that's the wrong button. So I need to make sure I send my um, rover team, actually. Hold on. Where's my rover team? Uh, where are you? Can I get you to um, explore this? Analyze that, that anomaly? And then all this area has been scanned. So I guess I guess that's okay. And okay, there we go. I need to make sure. Where is my rover? Uh, I forgot where my stuff is actually. Oops, command center research. Um, oh, that's the anomaly here. Okay. And then I have a rover coming over to have a look at it. 
where are you? R6 for okay, there we go. It's gonna go analyze an anomaly. Okay. And then we got our decommission. Something has been up. Okay. By the way, guys, if you guys are new to my channel and you guys enjoy games like Surviving Mars and soon to come Industries of Titan, uh, and as well as Frostpunk and other sort of like sort of survival city builders, sort of founding stuff like this, uh, well, be sure to, um, well, watch this video until the end and then also to check out those other videos on my channel and consider dropping a sub to keep up. Um, so let's get a pipe over here. I'm gonna... Is that, is that good? There we go. So this this thing is gonna start pumping. This thing is only at one out of five, so it's like not even going at max potential here. Um, let's see. Is this one gonna start discharging? Oh no, this is just the full power battery here, and this solar panel looks a little dusty. So I think I need to we need to fix it with some metal here. Um, but it looks like we'll be fine. So I'm currently fueling up my rockets. I think fuel production here. Is this drone? Is this drone coming up to go into recharge? Ah, going to Dragon 2. How is Dragon 2 going? Okay, there's the feel in Dragon 2 is is 0 out of 50. What about Dragon 1? Dragon 1 is 39 out of 50. Okay, so we could probably build some more fuel refineries. I don't know. Let's see. Power and one water consumption. Okay. So actually, hmm, I think the best place to have fuel refineries might be here. Uh, oh, and this pipe is still not being built yet. Okay, so let's just speed things up here and there we go this should be producing is it not producing water water grid total water uh this one's producing one out of five can i not produce water in the same grid oh there's a lack of demand ah so there's no real demand for it i mean increased Increasing stored water five capacity 100. I mean Sure, I guess I'm just gonna store some water here. Okay, let's have a look at the hints here too early to place a dome Interesting, okay, you know what? Let's just get some oxygen here So I think what I need for oxygen. Oops. I keep clicking this other menu here is I need to get a moxie uh, And so this will produce some oxygen But I should probably put it close to where I want to have a dome and if I want to have a dome I probably want to have it like somewhere over here where I have all these deposits that I that will need people to work on. So I'm gonna build this over here maybe. Um right? Yeah we have we have our we have our power cables here. So I can probably build um the oxygen thing here. And then we can probably set up our oxygen tank here, like right next to it. Um maybe this rotation? Uh, like just right here, right next to it, like that. And then we just gotta give some power grids, not pipes, valves. Um, transport walks. Okay, so I can just connect it to building. Okay, so these two will be connected. I don't get why, like, I can't just have a pipe that's on the ground. Maybe, like, having it raised makes it more secure. And then I gotta make sure I get a power cable. Uh,. Over here, and that should probably hook them up to a power source here. All right, let's watch this building get constructed. So once we have some oxygen, I think we can uh, actually get our colonists to start coming in. Uh, there we go. So we're producing oxygen right now. Three oxygen stored zero. So we have some strong net production here. Water production seven point two. Water demand is only at two. So we have capacity, power production, demand, stored power. Okay, so we should probably start being able to start calling in colonists here. But I would like to send some of our rockets back because, um, yeah, this one rocket's almost ready to refill and go back. And I can probably use this rocket to pick up people and we'll have to focus on refueling um, Dragon 2, which is not getting a lot of fuel at all. What's on this Universal Depot? We got a Metals Depot, Concrete Depot. What's What's here? There's one piece of fuel here. Ooh, that's kind of bad. Is it because my drone hub doesn't reach it? Oh, it's because my drones don't reach it. Okay, let's have a look at this anomaly here. Oh, we found the records of... Nice, we found the wreckage of Phobos 2. Okay. Locations of several anomalies discovered. Check the map. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at the map over here. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really far away, though. I don't know if I can get over there. Um, I wonder if those are more crashed probes. Hmm. I mean, I'm just let this area scan here. I mean, can I send the truck over here? 
Uh, I can... Can I actually send the truck here? I'm going to send one of these trucks here. I'm going to send this truck over here. Like that. Okay. And then so... This truck should... Mm, oh. Interesting. Oh, can it not go to unexplored areas? Right? I'm, th I'm telling it to go to Neo. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, where's home base? Oh my god. Like, Mars is just so big here that I can't even uh, figure out where my home base is. So I only, I only have one concrete extractor right now. Uh, actually, no, I have a second one here, but this is producing. Where's the concrete being stored? Oh, I think the drones are in range, right? Yeah, the drones are going to pick it up here. I guess put them down over here. Yeah, that's really far. Um, I have one drone hub here, another drone hub here. This drone hub here doesn't actually reach here. So I probably need to build another drone hub over here in order to get some drones working. Um, I feel like there could have been a better setup here, but you know what? It's okay. It's, uh, what happens when you just start exploring the game here? Where is my... Uh, these are super late game stuff. Yeah, it's super late game stuff. Landscaping. Okay, so uh, I have an I have one more drone hub. Okay, uh, recharge station over here. Do I have recharge stations over here? Uh, I do have one. I have I have I have two over here. Okay, I can build another one here, I guess. Uh, okay, so I'm producing I'm producing oxygen, and I think now that's nighttime. I'm actually losing power. So this dragon here can lift off again so I can probably send it back um set custom name dragon one so can I just send you back automated mode return to earth note the locket has to be refilled and any remaining resources will be on board will be lost so there's no more resources on board um send this rocket on an expedition I'm gonna send it back to earth here and then we can land it here again I guess Launch a rocket from Mars. Oh yeah, baby. Wow, we got so much concrete here. Um, I probably want to get another concrete depot. Oops, I keep clicking on that. Uh, let's see. And look at that. We have liftoff, baby. We are getting off of Earth. I mean, off of Mars. Uh, I've got the forest greenhouse. Oh, production is reduced. Can work without workers. Each worker gives a production bonus. Oh, I can make a greenhouse here. That looks really nice, um, and it produces oxygen. How much does it produce? It produces, um, here, the moxie produces three oxygen. This produces four oxygen, and if you put people in it, it'll produce more, but it'll use more power. Oh, interesting. Um, wait, hold on. How much does this use? This uses two power. This uses two power and one water. Oh, nice. Okay, so it looks like... Can I repair this? Or does it only repair itself? Will be outserved by a drone and supplied with required maintenance resource. Um, I thought I could get this repaired. Or maybe, like, my drones aren't in range? No, my drones are in range. So that's funky. Got a metals depot over here, universal depot over here. So, flight progress. 3% of the way to Earth. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Well, then... Mm. Can I put a landing pad over here? I guess this can just be like a landing zone. Um, we can just build a landing pad over here for one of our rockets here. Yes, look at all those drones go to work here. Uh, subsurface here protects with nearby buildings from cold waves. You know, don't need that yet. So hold on. This area is demanding 15 power. Okay, that's good. This area is demanding 17 power, producing only 10. Ah, because this, this area relies a bit on solar power. So I'm going to make sure I have some wind turbines hooked up as well. Um, we'll hook up another wind turbine, and that should do it for us. Uh, although we're going to be out of baby components here um, soon. Like the machine parts? I don't think I have anything producing machine parts. Um, and I need machine parts for maintenance. Okay, so fuel production, refueling of rockets. So I think Dragon two here should start getting refueled soon enough um unless i can't actually get the supply chain over there i don't think i can i think i need to have a depot like right here in order to like be like a midway point i don't even know how i'm, I'm gonna get the fuel because this is where most of my fuel is being produced um 
And then... Oh, because I don't have any drones here close enough to refuel Dragon 2. Can I salvage Dragon 2? Destroy this building. I mean, we'll get... Hmm, I don't know. What do we get here? We got electronics. Uh, remains of a supply pod. I can salvage the supply pod here. Um, I guess I shouldn't have landed Dragon 2 all the way out here. Um, but you know what? I mean, I could just build another drone hub here, right? Maybe that'll help, like a drone hub within range of each other. I don't know if that's a good idea. Or do I have to... Because I, th I think I have to build a drone hub within range of each other. Otherwise, the drones can't get to each other. Um, so I, do I want to be here? I think I want to be here. Like as close to Dragon 2 as possible. Uh, let's do that. And then, so this area is going to demand a lot of power here. Uh, let's see, drone hub over here. Drone hub is prefab, so it's okay. We're just going to speed over here. Launched a little rocket to Mars, and hopefully we'll be able to get our first settlement up and running soon enough. Uh, I currently only have 30 drones though. Ah, okay, we got some more drones out here. 38 drones here, coming out of the drone hub area. Pack drones for reassignment. Okay, so these drones here determine the radius. Oh, I can make the service area bigger or small. Oh, okay, I, think, I suppose that'll come in useful later on. So these drones should come in here to help um, refuel. Um, stuff. I, w I wonder if I can build more drones though, because I'm pretty sure I can build more drones, right? There's like 12 out of 40, 18, and then 8 out of 40. So these drones here, what are they doing? Carrying nothing, going to location. Uh, they, uh, I think they're trying to gather this stuff. I'm trying to gather some polymers here. But um, are you in range of the supply hub? Yeah, you're in range of this universal depot. This has fuel on it, right? Yeah, so it should be refueling. Hopefully Dragon 2 as well. I think I'm going to build a little depot in the center. Hmm. Where's my storage again? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, there it is. Universal depot. Can I build a fuel depot? I can build a fuel depot. Okay, so I have to build it like right here in the middle, I think. Um, hold on. What was my drone service areas? Okay, so if I build it like somewhere here. And then get them to come here. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, right here. Right next to this crater. Okay, let's do that. Build the field depot right there. And then shuttle access. There we go. Now let's desire some fuel here. Let's try and let's try and stockpile some fuel over here. See if that will shift the fuel from here over to here. We have our little rocket landing pad here. Uh, I think I need to, do I need to hook this up mm, to some electricity here? Or I think, I think it might be fine. Okay, let's just speed over here. Let's see, is Dragon, ah, uh, Dragon 2 is getting refueled here. We're also getting some resources harvested here. That's good. Uh, how much oxygen have we produced here? We've stored 60 oxygen. There we go. Oh, that's a, that's a very rich sector. We found some water there. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're just gonna scan this sector now. Oh, I guess I queued up the scans. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, that's super far away though. Um, we can just wait, I guess. We're not, we're, we're in no real rush to explore the entire map so far. Um, let's see, where's my tech? Mission profile. I need to generate 100 electricity. Oh, atomic accumulator prefab. 15 drone, refuel a rocket the same soul it lands. I think that's going to be a really late. Research 8 engineering, analyze 7 anomalies, have 3 bio-robotics workshops. Okay, mission goals. Uh, drone hubs start with additional drones, 50% cheaper. Inventor drones are gradually optimized to work and construct faster until soul 100. There we go, we got that. Bonus tech. Autonomous hubs. Uh, oh, I guess my hubs are already autonomous, so they don't require maintenance. Okay, so that sector is really good. Mm, let's see. I don't know if I can refuel a rocket on the same soul that it lands. It means that I have to have so much fuel in such a sparkling economy uh, for that to happen here. So robotics drone swarm. Drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited to construct this one. Ah, well, it's okay, guys. 
uh, peak optimization. I mean, this is. I mean, whenever it's your first run of a game, it's always going to be a little scuffed, right? Uh, so it's okay. Um, I just want. I, I just want to admire this game, I guess. Got our Space Y logo here. A little drone here recharging. Space Y. I mean, I'm actually pretty excited that like we're making some progress on Mars, to be honest. Um, like in like actuality here, we're getting some stuff scanned and stuff, but. I don't know how long it is before humans can actually feasibly, like, go and live there. <laughs> Let's see. Um, can I connect this? I think I can connect this if I if I want a charging station. I should hook this up. Um, the only thing is it doesn't hook up nicely. It, like, goes, like, in this weird angle with the hex cells. But I feel like having two charging areas is probably enough here. This hub needs a lot more charging areas, I think. Right? Uh... Oh yeah, and all these drones are just sort of chilling out here. They only have that much to do besides work on transporting this stuff around. Uh, yes, most of my drones here are actually idle. Here, hold on, can I pack these drones up? Recalls the drones and packs into a drone prefab. Can be used to reassign drones between controllers. Um, pack drone for reassignment. Let's see, hold on. Can I unpack drone? Ah, okay, so I can send them over here. I can unpack a drone here. There we go. Okay, because I want some more drones here. Mmm. Okay, so hold on. Let's just pack up like five drones here. There we go. And I'm going to unpack five drones over here. There we go. So we're going to have 14 drones over here. And there we go. 14 drones. And then we're going to get these guys working over here. Just because they're, they're just sort of sitting around doing nothing here. Um, twiddling their thumbs. Uh... How are we doing on refueling? 24, okay. That's, um, that's good, I guess. Production for soul is 12, stored fuel, okay. I mean, this place isn't actually producing water, but this, but it, the water tower is full, so I don't understand what's happening there. Uh, if someone who knows, maybe can tell me in the comment section down below. Um, I would be really grateful for that. Um, Cargo rocket, supply pod. Can I get a passenger rocket? We'll deliver colonists and a minimal food supply. Hold on, I can start building a dome, I think. I can actually start building a dome here. Oh, let's do it, let's do it. I'm gonna build our first dome here. Uh, let's get our life support. I mean, our life support's already up here. I think I can build a basic dome, a self-sufficient dome. I need a resource moisture farm to build moisture vapor vaporators or get free crabs. Mm. Places the following buildings. Oh, I need all of those buildings. Ah, uh, okay. Uneven terrain. Ah, uh, okay. So I can build it right here. If I want to, I think. Um, maybe I should build it over here. Let's see, hold on. I need to be close to the water. I have the water tower over here. Uh, but I have to hook it up to the cable connection, I guess. Because um, I want them to be... Oh. Hmm. Okay. Can I swap things around here? Oh my god, it's, it's so unwieldy here. Um, hmm. I think here's probably the best place for it, because I just want to be able to extract resources from this area here. Uh, and then I can shift it around later, I guess. That I can put it, put it over here. Oh, it's just within range of the water tower. I think this might be the pre... But then this water this this water vaporator is going to be very taxed because it's trying to produce fuel and it's also trying to produce water for the colony. Because mm. here there's latent potential to support life. So I think I might have to... Oh man, uneven terrain. Can I, can I flatten this terrain here? Oops. Uh, landscaping here. I just not flat. Mm. Oh, I can I can flatten all the rocks here. Oh my god. Um, hold on. Uh, rock formation. A stylish rock formation. Change surface to be rearranged by drones. Uh, sands. Red sands. Ooh. Is that good enough? Wait, hold up. Hold up. 
never done this before. What happens? Are my drones gonna like come here and like flatten this crater? No, they're not gonna flatten the crater, they're just gonna make it sandy. Okay. That's <laughs> that's good to know. Uh flattens the surface. Marks a surf flat surface to be extended into neighboring terrain. Marks a two flat surface to be connected with passable ground. Over okay. So okay, let's just <laughs> Well we're gonna turn this area into sand, I guess. Uh and we're gonna build over it, maybe. Okay, let's just let's just see if we can build a basic dome. I'm making build a micro dome. Micro dome. A barrel dome. Uh, passage, passage ramp, passage hub. This hub can connect six domes or other hubs. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's really good. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna build the dome here. We'll just say screw it and see what happens. I can hook it up to the power really nicely, uh, really quickly, and I can hook it up to water and um, oxygen quite quickly. Okay, so let's do that over here. Here we go, we're getting our first dome done. Let's go. Let's get it, boys. Here we go, first dome coming in. Oh my god, there's so many drones. Building not working, what's happening? Oh, it's malfunction. I need to repair it, but I don't have the resources. Uh-oh. I mean, the solar panels at least can be repaired by using metal. Is there another building not working? It says there's three buildings not working. It's just this, right? Okay, I mean, that's fine, I guess. We lost the power turbine. We'll have to um, start being able to manufacture these parts here. I think, let's see what's... Um, we have some dome services, open air gym, dome spires, decorations, electronic store, consumption. Can I not produce these things? Oh, I need to make, an, I need to make a polymer electronics and machine parts factory. And then, let's see, can I research that? Oh, I can't research it yet. All right, well, let's get this dome put together. Uh, at least we still have some solar panels here, so we can um, use this. <gasps> Resources are low. We're low on polymers. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We're going to be out of polymers soon. Hold on. Oh, because I use the most of the polymers here. Okay. I don't think I can get any more polymers, so I probably have to resupply with polymers. Um... So I don't think I have a polymer factory yet. No, I, I need to bring it as a prefab. And a rare metals extractor um, needs people to work with. Yeah, okay. So I can probably call a supply rocket. Hopefully that can bring in people as well as um, supplies. So let's do that. Let's set this up here. Let's see our dome get nice and set up. And we're gonna have our first people on Mars. Uh, and that is gonna be something to celebrate, I guess. Let's go. There we go. No life support. Oh shoot, okay, so I, I gotta make sure I connect everything. So, there we go, we got our first dome here. Uh, pipe valve. Okay, I'm gonna get a pipe over here, I guess. Uh, that'll connect it, that'll hook it up to the dome here. Uh, what else does it need here? I think it needs water as well, so I'm gonna make sure, I go, I can send you back as well. So, let's see, I'm gonna send you back to Earth here. And then we can build a another pipe that will hook up, um, I guess this water tower. Oh God, uh, that's so inefficient here. This water tower over here to there. That's so much piping. Should have just hooked this one up to that one. <laughs> hmm. Okay. You know what's okay. Don't worry, guys. Uh, living resource with um, the basic residential structure is called a living complex. So I think I can probably build one of those as well. And hold on, does this dome have power? Let's see, is it powered? Oh, it's not powered. Uh -huh. Okay, I gotta make sure I get the cable as well. Uh, let's get a power cable over here, and we can easily hook it up, I guess, right there. So this power battery is going to start using so much power and I need to make sure that, yeah, we have some stored power here and we actually need polymers to maintain this power battery here. Okay. Mish, uh, construct a dome. Okay. So let's see what active research tech. 
low G fungi farm drone hubs robotics new buildings uh, drone hub controls drones and allocates and we can now oh we can now build drone hubs I'll be useful I mean what am I researching here uh fungal farm wait hold on I didn't want that there we go I'm gonna research that and then we're gonna have autonomous sensors sensor towers no longer require power I'm just gonna research that here and then yeah, we'll see where that takes us okay so our pipes here should be connected and let's see do I at least get more drones here for my drone swarm okay, so these drones are sort of all packed up here there's not much they can do here I guess but I mean I guess they can just hang out here uh, there we go and let's try and fly some colonists here oh yes okay so the dome is ready okay and now we can also build uh, oops, that's the map scanner. Oops. Okay, so let's build some stuff inside the dome here. So I need to get a living complex, get some residential space. So that'll be a living complex in there. And we'll probably want to build another living complex over here. Two living complexes. And then I got to make sure I get a school. Cultivates desired perks. Research lab. Uh, generates research. No, I think I need to get some other stuff in here. Modular apartment. No, I can't get those yet. Dome services. I can get a little space bar. Get people to relax inside. A little diner. Um, I think I need a diner here just for food. Because I don't think people can eat in here. Uh, open air gym. Grocer. Actually, no, I can get a grocer, right? Because a diner here costs more stuff. Yeah, and like, yeah. So I can just get a grocery here. Uh, there we go, a little grocery here. And then we'll just have to wait for people to uh, settle in. Electronic store, probably not an electronic store yet. Oh, I can make a little aquarium, but we need polymers for that. Uh, I don't have the polymers. Dome spire recycles up to seventy percent of water used in the dome. That looks really good. That looks really cool. Oh my god! So that's why you need a big dome for it. Okay, so I think all we need is the grocers and all that stuff, and then. All we need is like something to let's just entertain the people. It's like a little space bar in here. Um, would be probably be good enough. Space bar close to work, maybe. And then let's see. So our water production demand. Okay, so my water production here is up. Now that's up as well. And then so this dome here is being fueled up. And so let's go and call in a passenger rocket. So we can we can bring in twelve people here. Uh, no specialization. There's four of them, no specialization here. Let's see. So we got two scientists. What does they do? Gain additional comfort when satisfying social interests. Officer eats double rations. Can be caused by sanity. Uh, no double rations, please. This guy's no specialization. Gamer recovers sanity when gaming. Oh man, double rations? Will randomly visit medical buildings and take sanity damage if unable to do so. Interest, um, higher individual base morale, low sanity, never leads to suicide. Um, uh, it takes sanity damage and able to do so. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Officer here, increased performance penalty when at low morale. Uh, okay, scientist, hippie, gains twice as much comfort in gardens and parks, more health recovered while resting. Oh, but some melancholic though. I don't even know how important all these, um, stats are because there's so much stuff you can micromanage here. Glutton. Oh no. Glutton. I feel like Glutton's kind of bad. Um, party animal gains interest. Nerd gains. Nerd and a party animal. Let's see. Engineer. Glutton. No specialization. Higher individual base morale. Alcoholic. Nice. Um, drinking. Gains temporary morale boost every time a new technology is researched. Don't worry. They'll tell you. Vegan. Okay. Nice. Workaholic. I'll, I'll take that. Um, Lock patterns will select when the filter changes. Uh, can I get a botanist here? Let's see, what else do I need? I think I want some... I want a mix. Geologist, scientists. Should probably get some botanists in here. There's a gambler, loses house health. Uh, I mean, we've got a botanist survivor here. I'll take that. Uh, so we have one scientist, two scientists. I think they're important for research. Two geologists, a botanist here. Um... Do we have... Oh, we need some engineers, I think. Religious, higher individual base morale. Okay, I'll take that. Composed, all sanity losses have. Okay. And then... Do we need someone else? Oh, we should probably get an officer. Um, 
Man, but these are the officers that I don't want. Um, let's see. Okay, so all the officers just are just negative. They're just downers here. Yeah, this is a glutton fit survivor. Actually, you know what? It's fine. We'll just we'll just have to deal with that. Um, this guy's no specialization here. Individual performance increased by twenty. No penalty for heavy loads. Um, I mean, no. I mean, I guess that's fine. Okay. So matching applicants forty two out of forty nine on board. So we have a botanist. We have no medics. Um, I feel like that would be important, but. I guess we'll have to wait it out for our next selection here. All right, well, uh, launch issue residential space. There are 12 passengers on board, but there's only space for zero new residents. It's, un it's under construction, guys. It's under construction, don't worry about it. So I also realized that I need to build a hydroponic farm or something like that. I've actually looked into hydroponics like in real life myself um, recently, just cause I've been, I've been a little interested here. Uh, hold on. Life support. Oh, yes, hydroponic farm. Oh, I need polymers. Oh, I need polymers. Hold on. Now, can I get a supply pod? Oh, I can get a supply pod. It'll cost me money. Um, okay, so... Let's see if I can get some prefab buildings. So I'm gonna get a polymer factory here. And then go back. Oh, all I can carry is... No, no, no. Okay, okay. Can I just go for a cargo rocket? I can send in Dragon 3. I mean, I have five rockets, right? And then so Dragon 2 is going back to Earth. Uh, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna go for prefabs here. I'm going to get a at least one polymer factory here. Um, at least one electronics factory. At least one machine parts factory. Uh, moisture vaporator. Probably don't need more of those for now. Fuel refinery, I think we don't need more of those for now. So let's go back here and... Mm, so the, the, the colonists are going to get here first and they might not have any food. This might be bad. I probably should have launched this rocket first. Uh, let's see, RC Explorer. I'm going to get an RC Commander as well because that'll be useful. Um, transports and repairs drones and then I should probably get some food. Colonists arrive with nominal food supply, but will soon need additional provisions to survive. Yes, that is important. Orbital probe. Cost 100 million. Wait, this is... All these things are super expensive. I feel like I should just... Um, send it forward with still 10 kg cargo capacity. Actually, you know what? Let's just get some more drones, I think. 30 million each um, for another drone here. Let's go for two more drones. Um... And then let's get some more. I have concrete and produce that here. Let's get some food provisions here. Uh, and let's get some polymers to come with us and some machine parts to come with us. There we go. And let's launch Dragon 3, baby. So Dragon 3 is taken off here. Uh, so I can't actually build a hydroponics farm, a low G fungal farm. Yeah, so I need to. I mean, I need to get that set up here. So let's see. Dragon 3 is coming in, and so is Dragon 1. I'll have to land Dragon 1 here. Maybe I can land Dragon 3, like, somewhere over here, maybe? Um, because I think this landing position was kind of bad, but... Let's see, can I build a landing pad? I can build, an, I can build another landing pad here. Um, it's just a bunch of concrete, right? Um, yeah, I can build it over here. There's, like, a dust storm over here going on here, and there's some resources here. I can just... Ooh, okay. Because I think I want to have at least maybe one more... Maybe this might be the only dome here for now. And I might consider branching out over here. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, but let's just put down this landing pad here. And uh, await the arrival of the dragons. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I have, I have more than enough oxygen storage. But I think I need a polymer factory. I'm going to have to put it down here. It needs water and oxygen. So probably somewhere here. That's like the prime hub. And we're just going to have to wait for the dragons to come in. Uh, RC Explorer. What's this over here? What is that? A Vista. Comfort boost. Oh, okay. Oh, there's an anomaly here. I didn't realize that. Oops. Okay. Uh, and let's have a look at the map overview. Nothing here. Okay. Okay, nothing here. Uh, yeah, now we just gotta wait for our people to arrive on Mars. Uh, when you're ready, you can invite the first colonist to Mars. Launch a passenger rocket and launch it near one of your domes. Mm-hmm. There we go. 
So we're going to probably just try and land it over here, the passenger rocket. Uh, oh, no life support. What happened? Uh, insufficient power. Oh, there's no power at night? What's happening? Hold up. Hold up. What's, what's happening? Wait, if I lose power at night, that's really bad. Um, it's because these things aren't producing, right? And then... Ah, my power accumulator is discharged all the way. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Well, let's let's try and fix that right now while we still can. Large solar panel. Okay, so here, I think what we have to do is just build a bunch more power accumulators here. Uh, oh, but I need, I need polymers. Okay, so running out of polymers is kind of a death sentence right now. Okay, so let's just, I'm just going to build more of these. Low resources. That's our. That's our. That's our power. Yeah. Like all of our, f like water production here is just going to be down. Uh, oh, these buildings can't produce water right now. Ah, uh, an oxygen tank is going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I can try and keep the rocket in orbit, I guess. Well, you know what? I think this is a great time to end off the episode here. A little spicy moment here. We have our first dome built, uh, but a bunch of resources are running low. Um, so that'll be a little exciting. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and tune in next Monday for more Surviving Mars. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.